friends, it's Retro Gaming now, and we're back with Fate the Cursed King. In the last episode, we completed the Caverns of Living Fire. Please, will you help me? And now we're going to the Crypt of Takala, so let's get some okay. level 1 quests, as we always do. But real quick, I want something to replace this terrible cow. Everything else I have matches my purple color, but this cap is just Uma. bad. <sighs> but it doesn't look like we've got anything... Hmm, 117. How close are we to 117? Decently close. We're about to level up. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this. You must. Ah, uh, is it really gonna fit? Ah, 143 defense is pretty good, though. Alright, let's go for it. Hmm. That's pretty nice, actually. So, we will keep on going. Suppose you're all we've got. Oh no, I'm not doing a 31st. Oh, so this is gonna make it really hard to find quests now. Cause it's gonna go to both dungeons. Why don't we make an... Oh no. I didn't do it. You think you can... Interesting, or maybe it's different size of the map. We'll find out in a minute. Um The guy we rescued. I've got a job. 32. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to find any. Alright, I think we're just going to go with one quest this time. Something we haven't done in a while. But I think we have to get to this dungeon before they start spawning on this one. Alright, the Crypt of Takala. We have seen Takala's ghost before. By standing still and fishing, he just showed up. Snake. Oh, we got really low level enemies here. Interesting. So maybe one of those things where we're gonna have to work up. You have completed the quest. These tiny little rats. You know what? After fishing out that last one, Horned Lizard Man, that's pretty cool. I'm alright with slowing down a little bit. Plus, these enemies are pretty cool cultists. You are overburdened. Man, they're at tons and tons of magical items. And what would be really cool is the di if different types of items spawn in different floors. So, like, if the Egyptian items, because we have seen the Egyptian Orcus, maybe is that what they're called? Um, that theme. So that'd be cool if they spawn here. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty straightforward floor. We've already finished our quest. These snakes are not hard at all. Cultists. So these are like goblins, basically. Pretty obvious. <laughs> Talwar. Is it Talwar? I'm not. I can't remember. Rat. Viper. Ah, yes. I am definitely looking forward to all these new enemies. Spent way too long in that other dungeon. The music's different, too. Face Grinder the Unholy. Yeah, I don't even need anything for that, really. Okay. One shot him. Sniper. Nice going. Pin him. Town portals don't need that. Okay, well I expect it to level up. Looks like that's not gonna happen. With these scarabs? Of course. Two imp. Yes, yeah, so if you've played the previous fake games, you definitely know where these came from. Those are just regular imps. And the goblins, the coldest, are just goblins. They, except they changed the color. They used to be green. Palace infantry. 
Oh, I didn't quite get a good look at what that was. Alright, we're about to be finished with this in about four minutes. Uh-oh. That reminds me, we do need to get Muffle Magic at some point. I expect we're going to need that seeing as model lords. Right now, they're easy to kill. You have been granted new skills. Nice, got that level up we're looking for. It's all going to go in magic. Hmm. We're going to do sword. This hat is going to give us a lot of axe skill. Oh, I don't have it with me. So maybe we're going to consider finding an axe. I haven't used axes in a while. Look at them, they die too quickly. Okay, well, that's it for this one. Pet can pick that up. This is not a okay, so just to make this faster, I can identify all this stuff and send them to town. The thing is, like, we're getting pretty the decent items here. Like that scythe polax looks awesome. I haven't seen that one before. But, uh, Yeah. I mean... Yeah, that's interesting. Because the items, I think, are higher level than the enemy, almost. Alright, so now let's head back to town. Oh, my pet's back! It's two mimp we missed, and a viper we missed. Take him out pretty quick. Go back to town. And hopefully this time we'll actually be able to get some quests for the correct dungeon. Okay, we also need a couple of gemstones for my boots. Oh, come on. I'm not going to that dungeon. Unless I really have to. Jeweler, but not. Oh, wait, yes, she did have some jewels. Uh, I would want like a perfect lapis, but I would consider faster casting speed. That's a nice thing. Or straight up mana bonus. You must be. Elfame hammer, that's a new one. I haven't seen that. Potential to be better than this. It's slow speed, though. There's another one of these. Honestly. I could flip this one out. Yeah. So it's gonna be better. It's not an upgrade, except for the magic bonuses. And with that, I can't buy anything else. So, so much for that. Now, really gotta find another quest. Okay, four. I don't remake it. Thirty-two. It's going to be a pain, isn't this? Try again. But again, I think these floors are going to be easy enough where we don't really need to do quests, at least for a while. I know it's a dangerous trap, because at some point you do need them. And experience is very important. You think you... But I could get some floor quests or something, like some deeper level quests. I didn't do it. Three, two, Why don't we make an... a ring? Three... He says, why don't we make an arrangement? Always... Sounds so sinister. Please, please. Okay, you have we're gonna get some threes, because I saw another three up there. And then I'll check the two more quest givers over there. I think it was not this guy. It. it was this guy. Why don't we make an arrangement? You have arrangement. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna buy. Little, uh, it's not a big mana bonus, but at least it's something. 
We have a tendency to run out of mana. So, I don't know. <laughs> Gives a little bonus, I guess. Level 2, I could take that. If there's a level 3 up here, I'm going to take this first. 33, okay. So I can take a level 2. Alright, so we'll do... Be in the dungeon for two floors. Man, once we get to the third dungeon, it's going to be a real pain because there's going to be three different dungeons trying to get quests. I hope it's smart enough to realize I'm not going to be spending time in that other dungeon. And then it'll give up. Those phoenixes. I bet we're going to see that in this dungeon. That's awesome. It's another small floor. Not a Yeah, I'm enjoying seeing these new enemies. Or at the very least, different enemies. I mean, two mummy is just a mummy, but. Man, all those fired enemies. Huh. It's also pretty nice not have to worry, at least for a little bit, I can just take these guys down easily. I know it's going to get harder. That's just how this game is. I wonder if anyone's ever done a speed run of fate. I'm sure someone has be interesting to see what's the best way. Honestly, the best way... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was going to say just like go straight to the dungeon, but I'm really actually now that I think about it, I don't know if that's what I would do. You have to find that balance. You kind of like speedrunning a Pokemon game. It's like, how do you get the right amount of experience? I guess with Pokemon, there's certain things you're forced to do. Whereas... With fate, you never have to kill any enemies if you wanted to. You could just run through them. Horned lizard head. Ah, Stalius. Nothing good. Okay. Yeah, at the small levels, I don't really follow my edges first mentality. Face fight with the downcast. Oh, he's sad. He's even sadder now that he's dead. It's a one shot if I hit it. I just can't always hit it. That, uh, spin spell. Whatever that's called. It's been so long since I learned it. Okay. Is there a quest on this floor? I think there was. Indeed there is. We just gotta find a cyber helm of life. Is there gonna be a cyber dungeon? Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? She just threw a... That was crazy. Was that a glitch? I've never seen that before. I have to see that again, because... That was bizarre. It was, he's like, I saw a um, crate flying through the air. That was awesome. Alright, there it is. Rock hammer the dash. You have completed the quest. Even deader zombie. Yeah, tons of magical items. Ridiculous. Alright, take out the infantry. Take out the two men. You are overburdened. Tons and tons of magical items. Clean this longbow. Okay. 
Jesus. You cannot carry any more. All right, so we should be almost done. Just gotta get this guy down. You are overburdened. All right, let's go back up north, and we're gonna head down another level. Send my pet. Let's head town. Light dagger. I haven't seen this. There's some new enemy. Oh my goodness. Cyberhelm? That's so awesome. That's like steam. It reminds me of, um. Like an underwater. Oh, what am I thinking of? Bioshock. It reminds me of Bioshock. Wow, that's so cool. It doesn't match what I'm doing. I just want to see what it looks like, though. Wow, that's crazy. That is not possible. You're not possible. All right, well, don't want to get used to it. It's not really better than what I've got. Not better than that hat I purchased. Another small floor. Oops. I think someone else was lethal and it was me. Alright, time's almost up on these guys. Oh, we missed someone. One, two, three, and four. Alright, we are cruising. Let's keep it up. This is kind of a similar theme to the last one. Those hieroglyphs. That's a nautiloid. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's really cool. I like that, that they have an enemy from the game on the, the uh, hieroglyphs. All right, makes me a little bit less unhappy about seeing a nautiloid. That's really cool. I'll have to look out for more of those little details. of kobolds. There's a key. I haven't seen a key in a long time. Certainly one of those uh, things that could have been a lot better is the lock chests. Come on. Health potion. You gotta do better than that. Yeah, we're not making much experience at all. Foom's Dagger, that's a rare item I've seen before. We've got two of them, of course. <laughs> no wonder I've seen it before. I saw it just recently. But this one is the original fake game. It's a low-level rare item. There it is again. Who is it? It's that Kobold Ravager. Throwing boxes. I want to see him actually throw it. Is it a spell? You cannot carry any more. Oh, hello. I think this is boss scream scratcher. 
here. Of course, the last thing is for a yeah, quest. You know, quest. I think that's it. All right, clear out the floor. Find what else we can, I suppose. I wish we could carry more quests, because then I could go to the next floor. Okay. Is it worth it to find what's in that little area over there? I mean, the completionist to me says yes, but like, the realist, come on. I will do this all for this. Cannot carry. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad I found it. Yeah. You know, I was about to say I was glad I found this fate card, but like, fate cards have been nothing but underwhelming in my experience. I thought it was going to be a much cooler concept than it actually was. Black and Basher. So I wonder if I have this magical item find bonuses, does it change? the type of item. So for example, there's like the teal item, the normal purple items like that one there, the teal items, which are kind of special, but then the rare items, which are yellow. So I'm wondering, if I have a magic find bonus, does it affect all of them? So I can say I have 50% more. Does it mean, like, eventually could I get to 100% where everything's magical, but then um, increases the chance to find rare items. I guess I just don't really understand how it works. You cannot carry anymore. All right, pet, get that bronze cudgel of basics. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not going back to that dungeon. I wonder if it would go away if I got rid of my portal. There's not an easy way to do that, though. I've got okay, we got a lot of stuff to get rid of. Two Foom's Dagger. This Mace the Magician. The spell could not be completed. Okay, send my pet over. A lot of stuff. Black and Basher. That Black and Basher was quite terrible, <laughs> as far as how much money it's worth. Completed. The spell could not be completed. Oh, I think I already done these. Goodbye. Good riddance. I think I'm funny, but I'm not. All right. Let's find some more quests and do another floor. Good. Got anything for me? Royal Schmitter, huh? Cyber Club has <laughs> just a wrench. That's funny. Uh, not seeing anything. Great Helm. I can't use it, but 408 defense is amazing. Yeah, I'm like... It would take me a while to get there. 102 strength is really what my base strength is. Come on, give me a level 4. Why don't we make him... I didn't do... <coughs> you think you can... Uh, this is going to be a real pain if we have to deal with this for the rest of the game. Cogners have 5% damage reflected. They also have 5% damage taken and increased. Six. Well, maybe that's what I gotta do. Anything that I can from that floor. So I'll take six. You have received a quest. I didn't do it. 
floors do get bigger as you go down. You have received a task. Oh, that's an easy one. Please, will you help me? Then if I find another one, I can cancel quests. You must. Thorn mace, that thing just looks ugly. Elfame mace. It's an elfame sword. Okay, I have an elfame sword. Yeah, I was about to say, the elfame, the sword I have looks really cool. So it makes sense it's an elfame sword. Level 4, okay. Four, six. Four, cancel, yes. You have received a quest. Alright. Got an ant following us. Wrong spell. I did defensive primary instead of charm primary. Alright, there's quest number one. Gear minion. Oh uh, yes, we're finally gonna see those steampunk cyber crazy ones. Your pack is full. I know they're not dangerous now. I do think it would be prudent. That's what it was. It's this guy throwing those things. Because I saw him do it. Whoa, those guys just died quickly. Anyways, as I was saying, I think it would be prudent to pay attention to Nautiloids. <laughs> just because I know eventually how powerful they become. He's carrying a weapon, too. I don't know if I've ever seen him carrying weapons in the past. It's a pretty cool lantern. Interesting qualifier, flesh zombie. <laughs> that felt good to one shot him. I have a long memory when it comes to these games. You cannot carry any more. Okay, what am I gonna dump? This, this, sort. There's like so many magical items, it's like almost not worth it. It just takes so much time. And yet another demon staff. There is no end to demon staffs. Staves, rather. A rat crossbow. Dead. Get over there. <sighs> Stupid pet, alright. Sprung. You are poison. Horned lizard man. <laughs> yeah, there's some enemies where it seems the scale's wrong. Like that guy, his hammer looks really big on him. And I know it's not actually that big. I think what it is is just relative to his size or something. He's bigger than me, so it makes it bigger, but like it just doesn't make sense. I don't know if it's a glitch or maybe more of a developer oversight, that sort of thing. And a nice summer cruise through the dungeon. Do do do. Locked. Right to a dead end, but we're finishing up this floor. Still got two quests to go. It's gonna be all at once. Hmm, I 
hear something going on. There's just so many magical items. It's just, it can't be worth it to pick all of them up. Yeah, maybe it's worth it, I just, eh. I just don't want to. Oh, I think I must have missed. I will, however, pick up fake cards. The quest is completed. Okay, there's one quest. Two quests, rather. Your minion. Yeah, so the final boss in, um... One of the final bosses in the Trader Soul was a gear guy. Where am I going? Oh, it's like a spiral. I was trying to figure out how to get out of it. Music in this floor is a lot more subdued. Kind of deep in the background. I started to get sick actually of the music of the Caverns of the Living Fire. Because as I said before, it reminded me too much of music from The Witcher. So I'd always just think of that game. You know, these like slow violin sort of sounds. And so I keep thinking of The Witcher and I'm like, ah, no, I want to think about this game. Pots and pans. Oh, that's just great. I'm not even gonna. Oh, yeah, I have to pick it up. It's a rare item. I guess I'm not even gonna bother because I know it's a low level. Item. Ah, devil hammer. Right, we're gonna do throwback. Just me and my pet. No magic. No summons. You know, I understand why they reuse enemies. I kind of wish it, they didn't. They just did new enemies. I suppose I can't really blame them. Yeah. That would pin me a level up. Okay. Okay. Got all we need. Let's head back home. Okay. So first, we'll sell off all our items we don't need. And of course, just pick things up as we go. Hi. Not you. You must. Actually, not her either. You cannot carry any more. One more. Where is it on the map? Oh, it's way up there. Magic. Yeah, fourteen thousand feels like a lot. At the beginning of the game. Not much at all as you progress through it. Always looking for useful bonuses. I'm not sure knockback is necessarily useful. I've thought about that before. Whether Finally, a warrior who knows his steel. Uh, I've thought about it before whether, like, how you should actually use not knock knockback. Because the problem is, you knock him away from you, but you also knock him away from your summons, which are trying to attack him also, and so they can get confused and it just waste time, in my opinion. It's not that I would never use it, Finally. but I mean, I mean, usually, knockback's not worth it. I mean, if it's got knockback, okay, not a big deal. But I'm not gonna put an obsidian on. All right, I think we're gonna end the episode there. This has been Retro Gaming Now playing Fate, the Cursed King. And we just went to the crypt of Takala. I'll see you guys next episode. Have a great day.